Hello everyone and welcome to the chapter Exponents and Powers. Here we will learn why do we require exponents and uh, power and why do we require a new form exponents and what is this exponents and power. So let me try to make you understand this by a simple example. This is the number 10,000. Now I can expand this number 10,000 as 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 and this number if I want to write I can say it is 10 multiplied by 10 4 times. So here 10 multiplied by 10 4 times actually become 10 to the power of 4. Here 10 is known as base 4 is known as power and this whole number 10 to the power of 4 is known as exponent form of representation. So I hope this is clear 10 becomes my base 4 becomes my power and this whole number becomes my exponent form. Uh, exponent form. So now there would be a question that is it that always 10 can be the base or there can be other bases also. No, there can be other bases also. Let us take one more example. 81. 81 can be written as or it can be written as 9 into 9. Now if you see this, this actually becomes 3 to the power of 4 or 9 to the power of 2. So 81 I can represent in two forms of exponent 3 to the power of 4 or 9 to the power of 2. So this way I am exp uh, I am representing the number in a different form. Now there would be a question as we can represent the number in this form as 10,000, 81, 90 and so on. Why do I require a different exponent form altogether or why do I need to study that? A very simple answer to this would be that when we represent the numbers, let's say a bigger number, 10, this is 10 lakh. If I want to represent this number, I have to just say 10 to the power of 6. Why? Because it has 6 zeros. If I multiply, you can very well try this. This actually number is 10 lakh. 10 lakh is actually 10 into 1 lakh. Or in other words, I can say it is 1000 into 1000. Now, this would be a very easy way to remembering it. That if I have numbers with 1, let's say 1 lakh, 10 lakh, then 1 crore or so on. Just count the number of zeros it is having and try to represent that in form of 10 as this will be see 1 2 and 3 so this is represented at 10 raised to 3 to 3 this is represented as 10 raised to 3 and this is as it has 6 0 is represented as 10 raised to 6 so I, we were here that why we require this form first so we require this form to represent large numbers Anyway, this number we still is easy, but if you take large numbers with 10 with some 7, uh, some 9 zeros or 10 zeros, it would be very difficult counting the numbers of 0 and trying to represent that number. Instead, we are using a similar, simpler uh, way of representation. We say it's 10 raised to the power of 6 or 10 to the power of 6 or 10 to the power of 10 and so on. That is the reason why we require a different form of representation. Now, let us go and try and learn some simple problems on this. Simple question. Can we ask some simple question like this? Which one is greater? 2 raised to the power of 3 or 3 raised to the power of 2? The answer would be very simple if we try and expand the 2. 2 raised to the power of 3 is 2 
multiplied by 2 3 times and 3 raised to the power of 2 is 3 multiplied by 3 2 times this gives me 8 this gives me 9 as 9 is greater than 8 I can say 3 to the power of 2 is greater than 2 to the power of 3 so this gives you a simple example how to try and solve such tricky or you can say little uh, tricky qu questions. Let me take one more example. This is a cube b square a square b cube b cube a square b square a cube. Now you may be asked the question that are these four representations same numbers or are they different numbers? To say that they are same numbers or different numbers, let's try and expand each one of them. So a cube b square I can write it as a multiplied by a three times into b multiplied by b this also is a multiplication sign or i can say here it is b multiplied by b into a multiplied by a multiplied by a i'm just applying a associative property for multiplication and transferring it in the first in the first place Actually, this is just a multiplication. So, this gives me b square and this gives me a cube. That means, if I multiply a cube b square or I say it's b square a cube, they both represent the same number. So, I can say here that a cube b square is same as b square a cube. That means, first this term and this term. They both are same. Now let's try and figure out are these two terms same. This is A cross A multiplied by B. B multiplied by B multiplied by B. This actually I can shift it with the help of associative property of multiplication. This gives me b cube a square. I can say that a square b cube is equal to b cube a square. But let's try and prove that. So this one and this one, I'll denote it with a different sign. They both are same and this one and this one. Let's try and see if this one and this one are same. A cube B square and B cube A, uh, a cube B square and A square B cube. If you are seeing here A cube B square, it is A cross A cross A, B cross B. That means A is multiplied 3 times and B is multiplied 2 times. And A square B cube, A is multiplied 2 times with itself and B is multiplied 3 times with itself. So here they both are if I expand this, they, both of them, they are not same. So, these two never matches. Similarly, b square a cube, b cube a square will never match. So, this way we can say that these two r's will represent the same number a cube b square and b square a cube. But, and a square b cube and b cube a square will represent the same numbers. But, a cube b square and a square b cube will never represent the same number. I hope this is clear. You can even further correct or you can even further prove this by taking some